Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which we will talk about analog to digital conversion. In this lesson, I will explain how to connect a potentiometer to an Arduino. The requirements are computer or a laptop, Arduino microcontroller, USB to serial adapter if your microcontroller does not have a USB board, appropriate USB cable, potentiometer, built-in LED. These are the types of potentiometer. The circuit of this lesson should look like this. Connect the potentiometer to pins A0, 5 volt and the ground. The middle lead is the one to connect to the analog pin and the voltage virus on this pin. The orientation of the other two pins does not matter. Now I will show you and explain to you every line of the code which is required to proceed this lesson. We will start by initializing the variables as before. First, int sensor bin equals E0 semicolon. The name sensor bin was chosen only to describe what variable represents. The integer sensor bin is equal to A0, where A0 is analog bin 0 on the Arduino. On its own, A0 is not a reserved term. However, when used in context, the system recognizes it as analog bin 0. The line must end with a semicolon, like I said before. By declaring a variable in the setup, you can use the term, which in this case is sensor pen, throughout the code and instead of A0. There are two main benefits to this. One, it makes the code more descriptive. Two, if you want to change the value of the variable, you only need to do it in one place. Then, int sensor value equals zero semicolon. The term sensor value is not a reserved term either. Then, int led equals 13 semicolon. Once again, the term lead bin is not a reserved word in Arduino. It was chosen to describe which bin was connected to the lead. The value 13 is a normal value, but just like A0 when used in context represents bin 13. However, you will need to add the following code under the void setup. Bin mod lead bin output, which is used to declare that the LED has an output. At last, we write the void loop, which will be repeated indefinitely. Sensor value equals analog read sensor bin semicolon. This line uses the term analog read in order to read the voltage of an analog bin. Most microcontrollers use 10 bit analog to digital conversion, in which voltage to numeric conversion which is 2 to the 10th power, possible number equals 1024. Therefore, a voltage of 0 corresponds to a numeric value of 0. A voltage of 5 corresponds to a numeric value of 1024. Therefore, a value of 3 volt will correspond to a numeric value which can be calculated like this. I wrote the equation. You can get the answer doing this. 3 divided by 5 equals x divided by 1024. We put the x on one side, so we write 3 multiplied by 1024 all divided by 5. The answer will be approximately 614. Then we write digital write lead bin high, which turns the lead bin on. Delay, the delay should take the delay time from sensor value, which stops the program for a milliseconds of the sensor value. Then, digital write lead bin low, which turns the lead bin off. 
the delay again taken from sensor value it stops the program for a milliseconds of the sensor value as i said once the potentiometer is connected upload this sketch to the board and change to the serial monitor as you rotate the knob or slide the slider the value should be change between 0 to 1023 correspondingly the LED will blink with a faster or shorter delay. You can now read the values and use them with your code. The new function used here is analog read, where the pin is selected is pin number 0. If you use analog pin number 5, you should change the code to read int sensor pin 5. If the system does not work, check the syntax and ensure the code uploads correctly. Next, check the connections to the potentiometer, ensuring that the middle lead goes to the correct pin, and the other pin are powered at 0 volt and 5 volt. If you bought a very cheap or old potentiometer, there is a chance it may be mechanically defective. You can test this using a multimeter and connect the ends to the middle bin and an outer bin. Set the multimeter to read resistance and rotate the knob. If the resistance changes slowly, the bot is working. If the resistance is erratic, you need a new potentiometer. Now, what if you want to see the value yourself? Take a look at the code that I'll display here in the Arduino interface as a new sketch. Like before, initialize the variable int sensor pin equals zero, which selects the input pin for the potentiometer. Then int sensor value equals zero, which is the variable to store the value coming from the sensor. But some new functions will be used now under the void loop and the void setup. Under the void setup, we write serial.begin in between brackets 9600 semicolon, which initialize the serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. Then, under the void loop, we write serial.println in between brackets sensor value, then the semicolon. This sends the value contained in the variable sensor value serially via the USB plug and digital bin 1. Verify then and upload the sketch to your Arduino. Once it's done, press on the magnifying glass located towards the top right of the window. This is serial monitor and monitor's communications begin sending and receiving by the Arduino. Here, you must verify the baud rate is also 9600, all else you will see garbage. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you have any question, please ask it in the Q&A board. See you next lesson.